I would just like to make it known that I am wearing clothes. <laughs> oh, it smells so delicious already. Girl, you about to smell so good once you're done with this routine. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Maxine. I make lifestyle, self-care, and fashion videos. So if that is right up your alley, please do make sure that you stay. If you're a returning subscriber, what's good thank you for coming back so i just took a shower just did some like makeup and i'm about to show you how you can make your fragrances and your body sprays and your mists and your perfumes how to make them last much longer than they usually do if you're like me you have a good collection of body care products but that does not mean that we want to waste i made a video all about how to smell good on a budget and one of the things that I said in that video was to layer your fragrance products. This video is mainly just about the things that you can do straight out of the shower that will help you smell good all day so that you keep your touch-ups to a minimum. So if you find this video helpful, please make sure that you hit that like button and also subscribe. Grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a notebook. Let's get in to the video. I am wearing clothes. <laughs> Well, I'm wearing a scarf as a top, but I had to take my robe off so that I could actually really fully get into the body care properly. I just got out of the shower, but I had to do my makeup first, so now I'm fully dry. I'm gonna spray my body with just some water. You can really just go under the shower again quickly, just like, you know, get wet again. Don't fully dry yourself off. The moisturizers and the stuff that you're gonna use actually absorb better onto wet skin. And this thing just dried. I do not have the time. I'm about to go under the shower again. Step one, onto damp skin, use any scented moisturizer or an oil-based body spritzer. I have spoken about this product so much that you guys are probably tired of me talking about this product, but this is the Sorbet Sensual Royal Oil Body Spritzer. As much as it can just be used as a body spritzer, I think that the best way to use it is to spray some of it in your hands and basically apply it like you're applying any moisturizer. Another moisturizer that I really like to use that I cannot for the life of me find and that is honestly why I've been using this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Cocoa Butter Lightly Scented Body Oil, I believe that's the one. Now that I've basically submerged my body in oil, the oil is basically going to absorb the other products that you use. The next thing that I'm gonna do is use my Dove Even Tone Deodorant Roll-On whatever. The next thing that you're gonna do is go in with a normal everyday type of lotion that is preferably not scented. So I'm using the Vaseline um, Dry Skin Repair with pure oat extra extract to provide a really deep type of moisturization just basically make your skin super smooth and hydrated and moisturized for the products that you are about to use the next thing that you're gonna do is take some good old petroleum jelly obviously got some vaseline almost everybody uses the vaseline brand rub it on the points that you most commonly spray your fragrances behind your ears and below reaching your neck the back of your neck your collarbones or just below your collarbones rather under your boobs so uh, y'all don't need to see this but i'm just gonna around the area elbows my wrists your wrists are so important if you're extra like me then on your butt just your butt behind your knees so this little crevice or this little area behind your knees why you should do this why you should use petroleum jelly on the areas that you spray your perfume on is because this is like a no-brainer those are the areas that are most likely to hold the perfume when you use vaseline i'm just using a random body spray this is Yardly um, gorgeous body spray. I'm gonna spray it back here where I just put some Vaseline. Don't rub it, you can tap it or whatever. One thing that you'll notice is when you use Vaseline, it will help the body spray 
absorb way quicker and last much longer that is your body sprays that is your perfume anything any other products that you use i'm gonna use a fragranced lotion this is also oh heavenly love me some also oh heavenly this is the rose hip this is the pomegranate and rose hip oil lotion i always rave about this range i absolutely love the creme oil collection another one that i really like is the honey and almond oil um pure honey and almond oil lotion these are both of the creme oil collection i'm just gonna put this all over my body like normal using very nice fragrance lotions help you, you smell good for much longer than any just normal lotion and especially if it's like a good nice nice luxurious consistency like this one and it's lightweight at the same time this is it's a sweet and full fruity harmony with top notes of sweet orange and apple a full heart of jasmine and rose and deeper notes of plum and peach with a rich woody base tell me that that doesn't sound luxurious oopsie oops my boobies when I use this lotion, I can smell myself for hours. Now I'm gonna take my Oso oh Heavenly um, Love Struck. This is a nice, um, fine fragrance body mist. It's almost done, I'm really sad about this. I'm gonna spray it on those pinpoints. Is it called the pressure points, the pain points, the pinpoints? Those points. and I'm just gonna lightly dab. You don't wanna rub because that actually makes it kind of smell bad. Now I smell amazing. Oh, I smell so delicious already. Now because I'm extra, the next thing that I'm gonna do is spray this body spray pretty much all over my body, including the points that I've just talked about, but all over my body. This is the Lentheric Lola Sherry. Cherry by Hoichi 20. So I've really figured out that these two actually smell really really nice together So this is the dress that I'm gonna be wearing. I'm really not even going anywhere. I'm really not even going anywhere I am hoping for a plan to wear this so you might want to do this before you actually start on all of your body care so that it kind of like dries in time it is clean it is fresh you gotta make sure that you're wearing clean clothes i'm gonna take a perfume that i don't usually use this is a gloria vanderbilt vanderbilt um perfume not really my type so that's why i don't really use it usually use it that much but i do spray it on my clothes from time to time the armpits one two the inside of the arms two and that is it for that fragrance. If you want, you can go on and add another fragrance that you want, but because that one is quite strong, I think that one will linger on the dress for quite a while. So a quick hack, if you're wearing wigs or if you have your hair out, take a, a hairbrush, use a very, very lightweight body mist or body spray, spray it on the brush, let it dry first, and then brush your hair with it. This makes your hair smell nice without having to use a hair fragrance and without having to spray fragrance directly onto your hair because that'll make your hair so dry. The last thing that I'm gonna do is use my everyday fragrance. This is the Zara Orchid fragrance. So now I'm gonna spray it again on the important points. In there, behind your knees and spray it wherever else you feel like you need to spray if that's everywhere girl let it be everywhere final final thing is to go back in with your oil moisturizer tap it on to the spots that you just sprayed perfume on so that it's like a it's like a setting spray for your perfume <laughs> and that friends is how you make your fragrances last much longer instead of the normal having to spray yourself every three hours every two hours this is really just what I'd be doing. I've learned a lot of these things from like Pinterest and YouTube and also from like experimenting with different things. And I really do think that I've got it down now. So if you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please do make sure that you give this video a like. Also, let's chat in the comments. Let me know if you've tried this. Let me know if you try this, if you end up trying this, when you try this, what fragrances you like to use. You, you can catch me in the comments. If you haven't already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also follow me 
me on Instagram. I share a lot of stuff there that I don't share on YouTube. So, all right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.